always looks chuffed to be out there enjoying his time in the middle as well. Wales and Luke Trahan at the ready. Ready now. Robbie Ferguson for Scotland to get us underway in the ninth place of semi-finals. Scotland against Wales in the bright sunshine of Los Angeles. It's not back on the Welsh on. side. In fact, there might have been a Scotland touch on there, so they're playing under an early Bandage advantage for Callum Carson. See these teams throw caution to the wind a little bit, throw it around. Lloyd Lewis goes to ground, and that's nicely laid back for Drahan to clear. Charging run coming. Aim from deep. To Morgan Shinalski. Drahan tries with a little kick ahead offside, though. Got off to a flyer. Ah, uh, you could see what he was trying to do. They saw, they noticed that there was no sweeper behind. Just unfortunate on the timing, causing the offside penalty. Scotland have a great opportunity inside Wales' 22 to capture the first momentum in this game. Looks like they're going to call a scrum, tying in immediately three Welsh defenders to see which kind of space they want to exploit off this first scrum of the game. Coach! Fine. Set. And out it goes for Scotland to clear away quickly. Wide ball, big early cutout ball for Lee Jones. Wales trying to get over now, this and late. now has told to release his Lewis. Barreto through the hands for Paddy Kelly. He just stops to go straight up the middle. It's a grind at the moment, another penalty. Colin thought about going quickly there. The Welsh tackler just too slow rolling away out of the breakdown. A couple of mistakes by Wells early. Find under the hooker, please. Coach! Find. In and out from Burrito, trying to pull the strings, it doesn't go. Ferguson. Scotland wrestles the ground through Harvey Elms, keeping it in close contact at the moment. Kelly switching back into the trap because Callaghan up the middle. Wales having to do a lot of early defence. But giving away the penalty to Scotland going off their feet. Trahan, despite that defence, wants to get going and release player on the outside. Morgan Williams couldn't hold it. Yeah, sloppy start for both sides here. No one can really get their footing on what they want to do. It's going to take some composure. It's tough. In these later games, you're tired, you're sore, the heat is pounding down on you. Got to focus in on your process and get the little things done right. Scotland again with another chance Coach. at the scrum to get themselves on the front foot. Fine. Set. Burrito under pressure. Advantage being played Scotland's way. Little Wales pressure. hand in there. Finishes over. Kelly. Wales's defence has been really solid so far. Well connected now. It's going to come under pressure again. Run it. Tear away. Looking for the ball. Back in with Ferguson. Oh, right. Lewis has reeled away there and out of play. Scotland try and carry on. Lewis, right on his nose, I think, has taken a bang. You can see him there. After at least a tackle. It's a penalty. And playing on. His wrestles all over the place. Yeah, tensions are high. Both teams are not to the start that they want to. 
High heat, high pressure, trying to showcase themselves for those GB selections. I think he caught it right on the bridge of his nose. I haven't seen any foul play. Completely accidental, but oh, yeah. And it was fortunate it broke down because Elms had sort of spied that space, hadn't he? Yeah, he spied that space and was tiptoeing down the line with good cover defense. And then just all kind of got kerfuffled there in the corner there. And unfortunately, Elms came on the wrong side of it. players we talk about you know hard men playing this game but it's tired bodies as well and not oh he's up and as I say it's none reverse. of it malicious at all because purely play. accidental Robbie Ferguson getting some treatment too yeah both teams are going to have to look to their experienced leaders and Jamie Farndale and Luke Trahan to Kind of calm them nerves. Get back to the model that the coaches had planned on pregame. Get into their flow. Just Ferguson's bandaged up for Scotland. Lewis has left the field for Wales. And we'll play on. Two and a half to go in this. Coach. First half, no score. It's been a real grind. Fine. Tension between the teams. Set. Come back up, come back up. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are a bit head on head. You go to the left, right? You go to the left, you go to his. No, you go to the uh, right. Both forwards track. Pax just trying to find the little nudge in there to try and get the ascendancy in the scrum. Coach! Find. Set. Right now, the scrum sets and we get playing again. It's Messi for Beretta who does well to flick it away for Ferguson. And now Elms scooting across field, can't quite link up with Jones, who does really well to keep the ball in field. Wales coming up on Lee Jones, put down safely in a solid hit. And away comes Scotland again, this time linking up with Farndale, the captain. Cheeky little one-hander from Finn Callaghan and then carried on through himself, Farndale. Ferguson. Oh, looked to shape a kick and stabbed it through, and it's well weighted. Wales have read it nicely, though. New and Rosser was able to get back and tidy up. They need a half back. The ball's sitting there. And now oh, Scotland no. trying to get a blow good. through. Yeah, they've done well. Good Wales good. can't control. It's gone backwards of there. It's a real shambles. For someone's going to get the ball, it'll be a Scotland penalty. Tip and go from Ferguson, buries the head, bandage it all and scores the try. Yeah, Scotland's pressure from the kick through finally comes through and they get the reward of five points. Looks like it's a tactic early to kick in behind, see if they can get the defense to drop to a six and one instead of a seven defense, but you can just see bodies flying in. Huge passion to get this ball back. Ferguson just understanding that Wells is going to scramble, sees a half gap, and puts his team on the board for the first time in this match. One of the senior statesmen of the Scotland team, Robbie Ferguson, gets the first score of the match, and the flag flying as well. An Olympian with Great Britain in Tokyo. Five points to nil, Scotland lead. Time for the restart, too. It's coming down on the Wales side. Rosser or two. Tied it up. Quick hands nicely tipped on by Wales and then tipped up with Swanick in the tackle. Scotland getting an over and getting the penalty. Barrio likes to play with real urgency, gets his team moving quickly. Ferguson, the try scorer. Gallagher's been prominent. Here's Jones. Lee Jones, the veteran player in the Scottish side, and another roll and another penalty. 
Ah, uh, just unfortunate there for Lee Jones. Just the extra roll, trying to give his support player an extra second. Well, get out and go to half time. <clears throat> Sensible decision for Wales. Just the one score, and it is Rob Ferguson who scored it for Scotland. They lead five points to nil. Job on Robbie Ferguson. I'm glad he's okay though. Grinding hard. Scotland fancied themselves over Wales here, but Wales have shown a lot of really good prowess this weekend. They've been in all their matches. Cole Swanick. To restart for Wales, chips the kick down to Robbie Ferguson, who's got the only points in the match so far. He's been heavily involved and hard to miss after taking that wee knock, but prominent as he always is for Scotland. Tackle! Callaghan goes to ground, and it's cleared away by Kelly. Barreto in midfield. Now through the hands they go, spreading for Wales, uh, for Scotland rather. Lee Jones, who's just played in his fourth Commonwealth Games for Scotland. Longevity in the game, impressive. I'd like to finish this one well. Farndale, the captain. Always an attacking threat. Ferguson trying to find a seam in the Welsh line and on the angle, but it's well read again by Wales. Well, penalty was about to go Scotland's way, but he'll play on as the ball came free. Ferguson in support. Got the offload to Burrito, then gives one away himself to Kelly. Kelly spins out of a couple, still going. Paddy Kelly, and then finds Burrito again. Nicely done. Clever work by Scotland, and then the flat line. Jones just dragged down. Wales scrambling. Advantage for Scotland. Flat again to Elms. Ball spills back. And they'll go and play the penalty. Great breakout, though, from Scotland. Yeah, that's what Scotland's looking to do. You could hear from Kieran Bader at halftime. He wants to punch those edges, use his big ball carriers to get them go forward and let the likes of Ferguson and Barreto in the middle of the park pull the strings. It was a good phase of attack from, from Scotland there. Kept some good continuity. Wales just a yeah, little bit unlucky at a couple of breaks down. They had a pinch for it. Referee Cisco didn't see it that same way. He's about to say who'd be a coach, such a stressful, intense job, but that's your new job now, isn't it, Zach? Assistant coach with the US woman. Yeah, it's, there's big pride in coaching. You know, you want to make sure that you're giving everything that's needed to the players to make them successful on and off the field. This man's been good, Killing Barreto here, a strong Commonwealth Games for Scotland, where they coach. finished sixth, the best of the home nations. He was really Fine. prominent. He's been prominent in this match. Midfield scrum. Set. Right in front of the Wales posts. Options all over the place for Scotland. They go wide early. Elms. Roll. Another penalty. Wales furious. Barreto carries on. Ferguson gets the second. Robbie Ferguson, another score. Barreto and Ferguson pulling the strings for Scotland. Barreto understanding that Wales is a little bit disjointed, similar to their first try, sucking in a couple of defenders. Ferguson dots down for the second. Really good patient attack from Scotland again. They understand what's needed to win this game, just maintain possession, because that's king in rugby, sevens. Two on the board for Robbie Ferguson, the conversion good as well. So Scotland, 12 points to nil. Still plenty of time here for Wales, though. Just haven't really been able to get anything going, though, the Welsh at the moment. Ferguson shallow for Kelly to try to attack, but it's knocked down on the Welsh side. It's a good, strong... Run from Callum Carson. Mm. 
Yeah, so, it's gonna, so we're going to restart with a penalty here for Scotland. Now it's a penalty. Because my time, time is still off. We're still waiting. So Wales caught with an extra player on the field, a shake of the head. Luke Drant. Too many players. And it was spotted by the refereeing team, so that's a penalty for Scotland. You need to take it without delay. Scrum. Yeah, Wales, a little bit of their own Achilles heel here. Not the same team that we saw earlier today oh, no, against South Africa, here. who were, yes. they were quite clinical putting the, the series leaders away. Coach! It's difficult, isn't it? So many highs, and then you get Fine. yourself equalized again and then come back up, and they just haven't been able to quite do that at the moment, Wales. And this is a good chance for Scotland, and Barreto is the one to get them away. Big wide cutout ball for Jones. Jones looking to go around the outside. Can't quite get around the Welsh defence this time in Rossa, but they recycle the ball really quickly. Ferguson has been so Tackle. nice and direct for Scotland to get them on the front foot each time. Scotland pressing again. Elms with a clever clearance. Barreto, good footwork. Spinning around in the tackle. Wales not missing at the moment, though, and forcing the error. Wales will tap and go. Trahan. He's the player with the really good footwork. Great pass down the middle. Uan Perth Jones. He is really quick, this young man, 19 years of age, and he's got Wales into it again. What a bright future this young man has. First touch on the ball, a brilliant left foot step, fed right to the chest, 75 meters for the score. Look at that dynamic left foot step. And then a well-placed fed just on Ferguson, who just couldn't get enough of him, but Pierce Jones runs the length of the try to get Wales back into this game. Yeah, there's still time on the clock left for, for Wales. A minute 40, they just need possession. Excellent kick as well, right back into it. Juan Perth Jones, born in Port-au-Prince, raised in North Wales. Restart doesn't go the 10, but Scotland opted to play at it, so that means we'll play on Ferguson. Scotland wanting to try and ice this. Oh, yes. Wales furious, but pinpoint on to the arms of Harvey Elms. What a ball. Like a thief in the night came out of absolutely nowhere on the end line. Elms puts this game away for Scotland. What a ball. You can see the little kick out. And then like a thief in the night, just loses his defender. And then a beautiful stride length to put another five points on the board to close this game out for the Scotsman. Steamed onto it, Harvey Elms. Converts his own try too. Just as Wales had got themselves back into the match, Scotland respond once more. Ball here for Wales, just Knock gone forward, offside. yeah. Unfortunate and taking in an offside position, so it's a penalty for Scotland. The Hooter goes, we play on though because it is a penalty. Yeah, just not enough from Time Wales expired. in this game. Time's expired. You no, know, they showed real good brilliance against South Africa, but the Scotsmen with their discipline come out with a very good victory. And they're pleased with it too. Barreto was instrumental, Ferguson a couple of tries. Really good effort, though, for Scotland to bounce back. 19-7, they beat Wales.